people of the internet, it is Sunday afternoon and we are all walking up to the beach. And there it is. Look at that beauty. We found our place. Who's excited? Are you excited, Rev? Woo. You've been asking to go to the beach for almost a year. Okay, now and I'm sorry it took so long. Two years. What? We didn't go last summer. I know, but we've been telling her we were gonna go since, oh, that is a big wasp right there. How's it feel to be at the beach? Wonderful. When's the last time you were at a beach? Um, a long time ago in Florida. So we're talking 25 plus years ago. Holy moly. So that's a, like, long, that would have been before I was born. Yeah, probably. Ah, uh, see, look, a nice long dock. Not dock, what would that be? Pier? Wharf. Pier. Playing in the dirt. Are you having fun? Yeah? And hey, what about you, Rab? Are you having fun? Ooh, what are you building? You're gonna build a castle? <laughs> and Miss Baby Rensley. She wasn't too fond of the water. She just kept saying, all done, all done. When Nana asked what she, if she liked this, she shook her head no, emphatically. <laughs> you have sand from one side of your face all the way down. <laughs> what do you think, Rensley? Do you like the beach? What did mom find? Oh my goodness. Is that a moon rock? Oh, hold it up. Wow. That's pretty special. Let's see. Oh, look, it's got seashells in it. It is many hours later and it looks like I got some sun. I think everybody got some sun. Dad got some sun. Yeah. I got some sun. But we had a wonderful time and one of the things that we've realized is we really need to be at a beach that has um, showers because everybody feels disgusting and there's like one place to rinse off probably three quarters of a mile down um, and even then there's not very many and there's lots of people. But we're at, uh, what is this, Wrightsville Beach. We went to Carolina Beach the last time we went to the beach and they had plenty of showers, like a lot of showers. It's a lot more like um, commercial, whereas this is a lot of residential. But it'd be nice to just stay in one of these places. We're sitting out here admiring our fall garden, which is doing really well. Yes, very well. Life. We I'm got pleased. so much going on. The beans are sprouting. Our corn is coming up. Our, what are those snap ones? Peas, snap peas are coming up too. Cucumbers, carrots, yeah. broccoli, cauliflower. But we are also talking about some of the things that have to do with us committing to two years until we buy our land and full-on homestead. Yes. What things are you nervous about, honey? Um, whether or not we're going to be able to do it in two years, there's a lot that needs to happen um, to be able to get that land that we want. Uh, we don't have land picked out just yet because obviously it's a little bit out there, but yeah. um, you know, being able to find a plot of land that's in the general vicinity of where we want to be um that's within our price range and being and able to fits all of us and fits all of us yep 
including uh, the parents. Us and the parents. There's Ugh. so many things involved. And then when you start considering that, you know, you're going to grow all your things, you're going to be self-sustaining. We also live in a hurricane area. So, you know, sometimes farmers, that's why you have insurance <laughs> as a farmer. So we'll have to look into things like that and how that works. Like when basically all your crops just get wiped out by hurricanes because that's fun too it's definitely been a learning process and we've talked about too like looking for local farms that we could learn things from like during this like transition period so that we don't you know show up on our property and we're like what do we do now because <laughs> obviously we're learning a lot of like growing simple things in garden beds but once we have like a full on homestead we're gonna be growing food a lot more substantially because that'll also be how we make some extra money because we'll be able to sell extras yep. as well um so hopefully the end goal is you know that we're going to be totally self-sustaining but when that completely relies on the fact that you have to actually make sure your stuff grows and not have things dying like this one right here look at we got one corn that's just not doing well for some reason <laughs> we got to figure out how to how to get it right to not have little bugs attacking all of our stuff so that we can actually eat. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of scary things that come with trying to be self-sustaining, making sure you get things done in time. For instance, our tomato plant has taken over, over there. Um, and we were supposed to be uh, planting stuff over there. <laughs> it's yeah. not currently happening because uh, our tomatoes, for whatever reason, have decided to just keep on going um, and never ending. Like, we still have blooms coming out so like there's still going to be new tomatoes coming up there's so many and all of our onions were supposed to go there and now they can't what are we going to do we have no onions for food now <laughs> we have burgers with onions on them or you have dogs that come over and eat your stuff that's great or mice like the other day oh we didn't even, we caught a mouse we... literally at the corner right there and he ran out and was pulling off our tomatoes and then running back under yeah rude ariana ordered some boots for grayson uh, you know, just keep his feet protected while he is out and about. We're definitely going to have to work on uh, getting him <laughs> okay with boots. It's for your own protection, buddy. Go. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Take your time. Slow down. It's okay, buddy. I know it'll take time to get used to. Grayson, come. Good. Boy. Yeah, you're getting better, huh? You're learning how to do it. Whoa. A little bit. Good boy. Doing so good. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Look at you, so proper. Well, hey there guys. It is like over a week later since we have vlogged. It has been a while. Um, I think we, well, that little excerpt from like in the garden was a couple days ago. Otherwise, it's been a while. We haven't posted, it's Thursday you guys are seeing this. We haven't posted since, not the tu last Tuesday, but the Tuesday before. Um, I actually just had to take a mental health break and I didn't feel the need to like explain. I just need to take a break. I honestly was going through being, I was feeling a little bit depressed. Um, and it's not necessarily like there wasn't any reason for it. You know, when you have PTSD, depression, anxiety, it comes and goes in waves. Like there's not, it's not necessarily because something bad happened. Um, everything's really good. It's just, you know, life got hard emotionally for me. Um, and I do think some of it actually started going back to therapy, which has been actually really good. Um, and we kind of agree with my therapist that some of it might possibly be um, postpartum depression, just because like with the timing, it lines up. Surprisingly, I never actually experienced postpartum depression with Revlin and Airly. Um, I had baby blues for sure, like a couple weeks, month or two after, but not actually full blown postpartum depression, but I definitely feel like I've had that this time. Um, and so I decided, you know, I'm going to go back to therapy, just like talk through some things and really start prioritizing me time with PTSD, anxiety, having like, you know, mental health struggles. You really have to prioritize me time more than like a typical person would, um, you know, just having a couple hours to yourself, you know, once a week or even maybe an hour to yourself a day 
is it necessarily enough when you have a lot of mental health things going on? You really need some place to really clear your mind. Um, and another big thing I've started doing is I've actually started volunteering at a local farm refuge. Um, so that's actually been really fun to do. I've only like just started doing it. I've only got a couple times to help them so far. Um, and it's been really helpful though because it I get to completely clear my mind. I go by myself. Ryan went with me once. Um, and it's just nice to be able to, you know, be somewhere where there's just nature, animals that I can love on. Um, and yeah, it's just been really cool. So that's kind of what has been going on, where we have been. Obviously, I run all of, you know, I, I'm a mother of three. I'm homeschooling. There's actually exciting things coming up about that, which you'll see in the next vlog. Um, and I'm also running, you know, two channels, which takes a lot of time. I talk about it before. I don't need to go into that. It takes a long time. Um, and so sometimes, just occasionally, like, it gets to be too much. Quite honestly, it's just, like, it's too much. Um, and so when that happens, I always just put the brakes on, and I'm like, okay, for my own, like, mental health sanity, I need to stop. And this time, it was more than just, I need to take a little break. It was... I need more than just like, it's not just YouTube that's stressing me out. You know, like I need to go to therapy. There's something more than just, there's just too much I'm juggling, you know? Um, and so it's been a while since like, I felt like I had to take a further step than just like making sure to prioritize, like putting things on a back burner. Um, and I think this is probably one of the longest times we've gone without vlogging or taking a break. Um, and it's been nice actually um but i want to get back into vlogging again and become a little motivated i miss my channel especially i really love creating content for my channel if you don't watch my channel i will link it down below i just post about like minimalism motherhood from like a very relatable aspect i am not a an extreme minimalist if you watch our vlogs you'll know like our kitchen ends up messy all the time <laughs> Um, so it's relatable minimalism, which is important because it, that also I feel like is achievable minimalism for some people because being extremist just isn't of interest or isn't like possible for some people. Um, so anywho, yeah, I'll link that down below. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, getting to see us have fun at the beach and just hang out as a family. That was really needed as well, like just to be able to unhook. We've really just been unhooking, I guess you could say. Um... And is that the word I'm looking for? Un unplugging. That's the word. We've really just been unplugging lately. And it's been nice um, to just like really be in the moment. Yeah, I just want to give you guys an update though finally because I'm feeling like I may not be like back 100% yet because I really don't, right now like I need to focus on my mental health. You know, I want to focus on therapy, focus on getting my alone time, and I'm going to post when I can post. Um, and I hope, like, I plan for that to at least be once a week on the vlog and on my channel. Um, and I know I had said, like, I'm gonna go back to three videos a week, but then, you know, waves. Waves of depression are fun. I feel great, and I'm like, yeah, let's do this! And then it's like, oh, no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just, you know, right now, I'm gonna be wishy-washy, and that's the way I'm going to be, because my mental health is what's most important right now. So, so I know you guys understand. A lot of you guys that follow have been following since Levi. Um, I miss him. That's been part of it too. Um, I feel like I've been having like a hard time. I've been thinking about him a lot. Um, so that's been a little bit difficult. Maybe it's like as Grayson's doing more training. I don't know. Maybe that's why he's coming up more. Um, but you know, a lot of you have been following since I had him, and so I know a lot of you guys also struggle with similar things. Um, so yeah. Oh, Daisy. She just tried to jump up and she hit her head on here. That didn't go so well, did it, Dades? Oh, careful. She's going to do it again. You going to come up? Oh, you're making me nervous. She's like 10 years old now, which is crazy. She's still probably got at least like mm, five years left, I would say. She's small, so. She is the age that Levi was, though, when he passed away. Daddy, she's dead. You're standing. Did she stand or did you do that? I did that. Oh, you did it. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, she has been pulling herself up. Not standing, but like onto her knees all the time. She's getting into everything. But we will see you guys in the... Ooh, that's bright. But we'll see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new. And we will see your wonderful faces in our next video. Bye.